am Heather from Handbook Tubes, and today is August anticipated romance releases because I read so much indie romance I often don't know about the books that are on my anticipated list until a couple days before they happen or when they happen so I kind of hesitate sometimes to make these lists because I know that so many of my favorite authors will probably have a release that I wasn't able to put on the list because I didn't know about it. But I decided I was watching Megan from this past romance and she had anticipated releases for like the next three months or something and she had four books on there. Now arguably she talks a lot slower than I do but still I was just like okay if she can make a video with four like you don't have to have a million in order to make it so i think i'm going to try and have these every month but just be aware there's always so many that i'm genuinely excited about that i don't know about when i make the video and i do try to kind of post those in my instagram stories so if you want to follow me there i do try to post about books releasing that I'm really excited about. Unfortunately, that is the one downside with a loving indie romance is when you're trying to make a list of what's coming up, you know you're missing a ton. All right, so first of all, I don't have any dates or titles or any of the things for you, but Jessica Gaziella, she is releasing another Golden Glades Henchman Motorcycle Club book. Have I read the second one? No, shush your face. But the third one, I believe, is what it is, is coming out this month. And then there is a project, a smutty project that she has been teasing me with. Do I know what it's about? No. Do I know when it's coming? No. She's literally been teasing me about it all year. She was like, oh, it's definitely going to happen in August. Then she was like, it might happen in August. And I'm just like, no, like I really, really need it so badly. I just am so wildly excited. She said it's like some of her favorite type of kink and smut. And I don't know what it is. I just want to know so badly. I've got nothing for you, but I can tell you this. If she drops her secret project and gives me the arc, I will be reading it immediately. I have been dying for it. <laughs> Another one that I don't know a date for is Dirty Curve by Megan Brandy. She is kind of an over the top, darkish, new adult author that I really enjoy. And this is about a college pitcher, baseball pitcher. And that is all I know. I don't know a date about it. I don't know anything else about it, but I really enjoy her books. The last one that I don't know a date for is Look What You Made Me Do by Lila James and Brianna Hale. This I have been waiting for for months and Brianna Hale, every time I ask her, is just like, this summer, well, it's August. So I put it on the list. <laughs> Do I know what this is about? No. Is it a dark romance? Yes. Do I think there's daddy in it? Yes. Do I know anything about it? No. And I'm very excited for it. Sure I am. Okay, on August 8th, there's Leviathan Song by Elsie Winters. Do I know what this is? No. <laughs> okay, I want to say that maybe I saw this on Evita Vice's Instagram, but I could be lying. So. Leviathan song, never read this author, don't know anything about it. I think she's human and he's a siren. He's half merman and he's landlocked, uh, rejected by his people. She's soft-hearted, strong-willed. She's at the top of the list of things that he wants but can't have. Now, underwater cities, distant war comes to their doorstep. She's in over her head and he can't bear to keep his distance. Slow burn paranormal romance about a girl caught between multiple magical factions and the mysterious merman she longs for. Adult language, violence, sexual situations, no cheating, no cliffhangers, and HEA guaranteed. That's all I know. I'm pretty sure maybe Avita said that they love the author or that they read the arc or something. I don't know. Am I good at keeping notes? No, I'm not. Thanks for asking. Okay, then on August 10th, we have Promises and Pomegranates, which is a dark contemporary romance by Sav R. Miller. It is a dark contemporary loosely based on Hades and Persephone. This monster is uses number one. To most, Cal Anderson is a villain. Dr. Death, Hades Incarnate, they say he stole me, usurped my fiance. Hello. She says they're not wrong per se, except it's my choice. And he says to most, Elena Ricci, 
is an innocent goddess of springtime angel of my nightmares little one so possibly some daddy king not sure persephone personified they say i ruined her they're not wrong per se except it was she who ruined me hello yes do i know anything else about it no <laughs> I don't know this author. I don't know any of the things, but you got me. You hooked me with that synopsis. Okay, then on August 11th, maybe? No, August 12th. Corrupt Temptation is Savage Kings of St. Ives number one by Melinda Terranova. This is a reverse harem stepbrother. The stepbrother is also her English teacher. She thought she, you know, escaped her old life, new family, new town, new school. She finds herself living in a shinier version of hell. It is bully reverse harem stepbrother. That's all I know. It sounded really interesting. He gives her attention, where it's just the two of them. The three kings of St. Ives have their sight set on her tale as old as time at least in bully <laughs> romances she says they don't know who they're dealing with she's faced monsters that would make them hide pub and pendrel impent impent impenetrable taught her to put up impen impenetrable impenetrable shields in order to keep her heart safe but they start cracking all right all right i'm ready <laughs> oh and it also said that it would be moved up so i don't know if that was moved up from that date or if that date had been moved up from something else but it did say that then on august 15th my fiance's bodyguard by ivy wilde another author i've never heard of or read what is happening is mafia arranged marriage she falls for her fiance's bodyguard she runs away and he catches her and i think that's when they start falling for each other and it is a complete standalone and that is literally all i know you know i'm a sucker for this deal from the wedding type scenario and i just think that this is going to be fascinating then on august 27th we have kingly bidden which is blood alliance number five by lexi c foss I still have to read number four, but I love this series. It's one of my favorite paranormal series. It is a dystopian world where vampires and lichen rule and humans are just food and slaves and that is it. They have no rights. They have nothing. And they are also taught that the world has always been this way when in reality, a hundred years ago, the paranormals came out of the shadows and took over everything. This is about like the king that's been exiled and he finds this, like his mate, this female in the labs of like the bad guy vampirist that set herself up as a goddess and like the new order of things it's dark paranormal it's greatness again i do need to read book four before i get to this but when i tell you i'm so excited i'm so excited on august 28th i'm watching her by josephine anderson this is another author that i am not familiar with no idea how this got on my radar Okay, so Genevieve's life isn't bad, but it isn't great either. Living with no one for company but her reclusive uncle in a remote cabin lacks excitement until she realizes someone is watching every move she makes. The question is, are they friends or foe, and how in the world will she draw them out of hiding? If only she knew the danger was lurking much closer than she could ever imagine. Roman is a man on a mission to keep himself as far away from society as he can. He's seen the worst humanity has to offer and he doesn't want any of it. Until the day he wanders farther from his sanctuary in the woods than he ever has and stumbles upon the most beautiful gift and has no choice but to make her his no matter what it takes. Watching her is the novella with stalker vibes, a steamy couple who can't take their eyes or hands off of each other and the smallest amount of daddy cake for adult readers only. That's all I know. Do I have any idea how I saw this? No, I want to say it was from somebody on Instagram. No idea, but here we are. And then lastly, on August 31st, I have A Legacy of Sorrow, which is A Violent Agenda number two by Mallory Fox. Now, <laughs> have I read this author? No, no, I haven't. Uh, History of Violence, I believe is what it is. It was on my anticipated releases back in like April or May and it is a bully reverse harem but she is actually a serial killer and they are bullying her without knowing it and 
it's been on my TBR since then. I haven't actually picked it up. It is one of my options for the Dark Romance Readathon, so I'd be pretty excited if I got it because I want to read it. <laughs> But the second book is coming out and I don't even know if I like the first one, but I was kind of excited to see that it was coming. So I just wanted to include it, especially if you happen to pick it up for the Dark Romance Readathon, it would meet at least the Who's Limits list prompt. So I, uh, I'm excited. These are the books that I found for August was I am personally interested in reading and a lot of my favorite authors aren't on this list. If they have something coming out, I don't know about it. And so again, maybe just follow me on Instagram if you actually want to know the entire list when I find out. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have a anticipated release happening in August. I'd love to hear about it. And uh, yeah, always appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Bye.